Yo, people of the universe. So for today's tutorial, I will walk you through on how to create this space mission data analysis dashboard in Power BI. And without further ado, let's go ahead and start. So first, what you need is Power BI. So install it on your desktop and you can download it from this link. And the second is the space mission data set. So you can download it from mavenanalytics.io uh, slash data dash playground and scroll down. You should see the space missions um, data set. Or you can also type in here to search for that file. And I will be leaving the download link as well in the comment or description box of this video. So let's go ahead and open our Power BI desktop. And by the way, I'm using a Windows PC, FYI. So my Power BI is pulling up so once it's open you will see this window and we will import the data set by going to this get data option and then choose the text slash csv and click connect and choose the space missions data set. And then click load. So once it's successful, you should see here the space missions uh, data set with the following columns. So company, date, location, mission, mission status, price, rocket, rocket status, and time. So first, let us define um, each column that you see in this data set. So if you download the data set from the Maven Analytics website, you should also have this file, the Space Missions Data Dictionary. So field represents the column found in the data set and its description. So for the company, these are names of the companies responsible for the space mission and location of the launch, date, date of the launch, and the time is the time in UTC. Rocket is name of the rocket used for the mission. And mission represents the name of the space mission or missions. Rocket status is if the rocket is still active or inactive as of August 2022. Price is the cost of the rocket in millions of US dollars. And mission status is if the mission was a success, failure, partial failure, and pre-launch failure. So here I use the Cambria font style and the size is 28. So let's go back to our blank, uh, blank sheet and go to insert and choose text box and type space, space missions analysis and change the font style and size and the color of my of the font is something dark blue and let's make it And for this icon, I downloaded it from uh, 
platicon.com so you can type in space or rockets and uh, choose the icon that you prefer and once you're able to download it go to insert and choose image and add or upload the image that you like to add here Uh, let's add a horizontal line this one so still insert then shapes choose the line so to format the color go to the format uh, tab or slide go to style and Go to border and choose something gray. So for this data set, we will be adding a new column that will represent the country because uh, let me just add a new page. Let me show you the uh, what the status or location data look like. So here you can see like the complete or the site location with uh, like the name of the site center perhaps and then the city and the country. So, so in this dashboard I get the country instead of the site location so for us to like group them um, accordingly. So for us to do that, let's go back to page one and then go to modeling tab and you should see a new column uh, icon and let's rename it country. And this is the formula. Let's just copy and paste. And click and click the check. So the formula, uh, it is getting the, so basically we want to get the, let me just close this. We want to get the string after the last uh, space because it is where we can extract the country name of the location so after the last space so this is the formula that we came up with so for us to verify let's go to page two and let as change the value of location to country so there we were success we're able to extract the country from the location so for new columns uh, that we add using a formula for dax it will have this icon which says um, it has been or it is added using a formula so there's like a um, square icon with fx. And then let's add the filter. So this is basically the date and the rocket status filter. So, so from the visualizations view, look for the slicer icon and then drag the date to the field option 
but it should be the year. Let's replace that. So you should have this um, date hierarchy below the date and choose the year instead. And then another slicer for the rocket status. For visual, then slicer settings and look for tile. And then uh, let's insert the icon here, the image. There you go. So in adding new measures, we will be using DAX or data analysis expressions. So what is DAX? It is a collection of functions, operators, and constants that can be used in a formula or expression to calculate and return one or more values. So basically, when we are creating a dashboard, if a value that we need is not readily available in the data set, we use uh, DAX to create it. So in this dashboard, I have added or created measures, um, total of one, two, three, four, five, six uh, measures. So first, let's go ahead and add the percent mission success. And as you can see on the screen, this is the formula. So let's just copy and paste. And the interpretation of this formula, uh, which resulted to 93.17%, so it means that uh, in all the rocket status which is active, count the number of success. So like in an Excel or spreadsheet, it will first count the number of rockets that the status equals to active. And then count the number of um, mission status that equal to success. So, and the denominator would be the number of racket status with or which equals to active. So in um, Excel, let me show you that. So here, uh, rocket status, again, so it says active. So let's filter that. And then, so the count would be 10, 10. So we will less the header in the count. So again, the number of active is 1,010, uh, sorry. And then with all the active rockets, let's get the number of successful mission so filter the success and the count would be 942 uh, less the header so 941 so 941 divided by 1010 so this should equal to 93.17 let's see percent then round off so there, 93.17%. So let's add it to our blank um, sheet and go to modeling and click new measure. And uh, let's paste the formula. And click the check. And then let's add the measure for the count of active. So this is the formula. So basically it just counts the, in rocket status column, count the rows wherein the value equals to active. So again, modeling and click new measure. 
and let's paste the formula and hit the check mark. So it should appear here as one of the fields. And another measure. So next is the count of failure. So it has the same formula, but we will be uh, changing the attribute and the variable. So this will be column mission status. So as this one. And it should be failure. So in the mission status column, count the rows that equals to a failure and hit the check. And then we will have the same uh, formula for the remaining measures. Count of partial failure, count of pre-launch failure, and count of success. And we're just going to have to change the um, attribute. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so again, let's review our formula. So count of active, so rocket status for the column and value is active. For failure, column should be mission status, then failure. Count of partial, so mission status, partial failure. Count of pre-launch failure, mission status, all right. Then lastly, count of success, so space, mission, mission, status, success. So one, two, three, four, five, six, all right. And uh, those are the six measures that we will be using in our dashboard.